Hey everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. We're gonna be doing this video completely indoors in my shop today because today is a special occasion. It's actually the hottest day ever in recorded history here in central Washington. So go big or go home. <laughs> The original plan for today actually was going to be uh, going and shooting some video of my buddy Chris's truck. We just finished installing some off-road lights, but we'd rather be indoors. Right, Chris? Right, Jason. So instead of that, I'm going to perform the first ever oil change on my 2021 Toyota 4Runner. I'll be showing some specialty tools that are going to make this job a lot easier, and I'm going to be doing some slight modifications and upgrades with the parts I interact with. Also, we're gonna be trying out some new oil that I had never heard of before, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to try. Last thing before we jump in is, if you want to check out just a specific part of what I'm covering today, check out the description below. It's gonna have chapter markers down there and a bunch of helpful links as well. Let's get started. Right, Chris? Right, Jason. Ha <laughs> ha! How far should I lift this later on? About here? <laughs> I think that looks great. That looks pretty cool. Oh, it's not dirty enough. Oh, oh I can do better. It'll be dirtier next oil change, I promise. Well, hi there, drain plug. Just a little bit. It's pretty good for me. It's pretty good. Okay, really quick, I wanted to bring this up just for a second. Uh, this truck did come with a 25,000 mile free maintenance plan when, when I bought it, but that only actually includes oil changes at every 10,000 miles. And every mechanic, friend, and acquaintance I've ever met, and I, when I bring this topic up, they say, oh yeah, don't, don't wait that long. That's, waiting that long is kind of crazy, frankly. So I'm gonna be doing the oil changes at the 5,000 mile and 15,000 mile mark. And then after that, you know, once this free thing is done, I will be doing the oil changes after that as well. So anyway, in case you're wondering, that's the situation with that free maintenance plan. Out with the old and with the new. So this right here is your oil filler cap. As you can see, it's made out of plastic. That's lame, and we don't like lame. So we're gonna be swapping out the plastic oil filter cap with a new one from Toyota. This one is made out of aluminum, and it comes standard on other Toyota vehicles. You know, even though the oil filter cap underneath there is protected by the big beefy skid plate, I still like the idea of a metal one, especially because I've seen several videos on YouTube and also forum posts of people snapping the, the, uh, these tabs on the plastic ones, making it hard to remove. Uh, one thing though, really quick, we're gonna have to reuse the oil filter cap uh, plug, and we're gonna also probably have to replace this pickup tube. So this is an oil filter cap specialty removal tool I got off of Amazon from Motive X Tools. Yeah, cool name. <laughs> but uh, tools like this just make jobs like this oil change so much easier. You know, you could use a strap wrench and you know, that, these, these work for lots of things. But if you're gonna be doing your own oil changes for the next several years on this vehicle, buy stuff like this. It just makes everything easier and more fun. So as I was warned in uh, my internet searching, uh, the tube is different on the plastic one than it is on this new metal one, but it is possible just to swap the tube from one to the other. And then we have our full metal oil filter cap, and that is definitely worth the extra trouble. Right, Chris? Right, Jason. Ha <laughs> ha! I like your enthusiasm. All right, let's do this. There we go. You just have to line up those tabs and there's a spring, pretty easy. Boom. Not much at all, huh? 
<laughs> quarter turn. Done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and enter a minefield now. So let's talk about oil brands. So I'm usually a bit of an oil snob. I like to use liquid Molly in my Volkswagen, for instance. It's just kind of, you know, what I've always done, and I always like to do it that way. And I was probably planning on being all Mobile One for this. And actually, my Costco usually has Mobile One. And so I went to Costco, and they were all out of my the weight that I needed, but they did have this. This is Kirkland Signature Full Synthetic Oil. It meets all the required standards for a Toyota GF6. And after doing some research, I found out that it's made in the US by Warren Distributing, which produces oil for a variety of different companies, including Amazon Basics, and it's very high quality stuff and very well reviewed. And this was only $25 for 10 quarts, so I kind of had to try it, okay? But please do your own research, look into it. You don't just need to believe me. Uh, and if I come across any new information, I will 100% update the description below. Uh, also in the description, I'm going to link a video from Project Farm YouTube channel where he tests Warren's oil directly against Mobile One and uh, kind of surprising results, so. Hey, have I convinced you, Chris? Right, Jason. Oh, okay, wow. Hey, let's put this stuff in. Look at that cheap oil fly. All right, so this is a quick bonus section for people who plan on adding or have recently added the TRD Pro skid plate to a non-TRD Pro. So if you bought that kit, it came with these longer bolts. If you try to thread the bolt in all the way, it'll start, but then it'll only go to about there and it won't go any farther. So I found out about this specific issue after doing the install of my own skid plate and it's a very common problem, and there's a pretty easy fix, not at all covered in the Toyota instructions, so that's a little weird. It's just gonna need to tap, use a tap, uh, tap set. This is an M10 1.25 is the size you need, and we're just going to make these holes just go a little bit deeper, and it's gonna be really easy, and then these longer bolts are gonna fit perfectly. Hey, hey! Those sweet jack stands. I know. Wow. Those are nice. <laughs> Boom. All right, well that's it everybody. Thanks for hanging out while we got that done. And thank you, Chris, for your help today. And I hope you enjoyed the cold air and Rainier's. Right, Jason. Ah, Chris, you curmudgeon. Well guys, we've got an awesome ever-growing playlist of videos, project videos, adventure videos, uh, with my forerunner and my buddy Chris's Colorado ZR2 Bison. And uh, like, share, and subscribe if you feel like it. <laughs> and until next time, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Why did God take Paul Walker away from us? I want to know why. I want to know why. I have no answers. It's not me. It's not for me to know. No. It's not for me to know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, how pumped are you right now? So pumped. So pumped.